they're not planning for the next election, guys. They're angry that Elon Musk has expanded the Overton window, that he is not taking their cues of who is acceptable and what is acceptable to be discussed and who is acceptable to be consumed. He's making his own choices for his own reasons. Because they're playing for something even more transcendent than electoral politics. Raw, raw power. Comprehensively raw power. And that's why they're losing their minds over this, over Trump being brought back. Because maybe Alex Jones is now more radioactive than Trump in their minds, in the minds of the intelligentsia. But it, those two are clearly in a tier by themselves, right? And so it's not a coincidence bring Trump back, Project Veritas is back, James Lindsay is back. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Okay, because if you rip the seal off of bringing Trump back, then there's no justification for not bringing back almost the rest of these people. And that's what they don't want. You know, this is, this is the alternative media version of the scene in the event on your, on your right, except it's on your right, on your right, mm-hmm. on your right, okay? They don't want that. So, so even though it is a political gift to them to hand Trump a vat of kerosene known as Twitter and say, here's some matches, right? It's a political gift to them. Trump is pushing 80 years old. While he is a potent political force in America right now, maybe the most potent force politically we have right now, that will not be an indefinite process. If he were to win the presidency, he gets term limited right away. He's a lame duck right away. And he's 80. It's a lot of the people and entities that we just mentioned that he cleared brush for, that he did, that he, that he, he did a lot of the heavy lifting to mainstream people like Project Veritas and those people who do great work. That's what they're concerned about. Oh. That he's basically the gateway drug to even up this fight again, where information flows primarily in America, Twitter. That's what the concern is about. I don't think Musk has any motivations other than he wants Twitter to be successful. And he has, and, and this is totally going by, you know, I think his own whims, frankly, if you watch the pattern of behavior, which means there must not be anything on, out there on him. There just must not be, other than what we already know. Because, man, if he had ever been to Epstein Island or anything at all like that, we, we would know it now. Don't you think? We would, we would know it now. A little surprised they aren't just making Or they just off. make it up. That's, that's true, too. The problem is he's the richest man in the world. Think he might have a few lawyers that could go after some stuff like that? Yep. Like, he, like you see what he subtweeted the uh, Anti-Defamation League? Mm. He subtweeted them these words over the weekend, Why are you defaming me? Elon Musk could buy and sell the anti-defamation leg about 27 times over, okay? So, I don't know if he's with us. I just know he's not with them. Might be out here doing his own thing. You know what I'm saying? Okay? He might be out here. He might, he might be the, the social media John Brown, if you know what I mean. All right? Just out here on his own, one man, you know, quest, and, and just dropping bombs. But... He's clearly not with them, and they recognize that he is a loose cannon that they're having a hard time controlling. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be sure to see similar videos from Blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here.